R.C. Worston Company values our relationships with engineers and on-site septic system installers. Therefore, we've developed a number of AutoCAD product and system drawings which can help engineers bridge the gap between design and installation. These details include scaled equipment components, standard septic and dose tank sizes, drain filled products and details, as well as many more. Currently, we are offering these details in AutoCAD format to our engineering partners free of charge. But keep in mind some of the items contained therein are region specific, so let us know and we can get the correct details for your project. We've recorded a few videos here to help you use some of the features contained within the drawings available. Please find us at www.rcworst.com and subscribe to our channel. Enjoy. Good morning. This is Eric with uh, RC Worst. Today we'll be going over a couple of uh, dynamic blocks and a uh, quite clever way of how to essentially reduce the amount of uh, scene uh, visibility states uh, that the end user gets to use. Uh, we've been having some some of these blocks can uh, can get out of control pretty quickly, like uh, this colonial ball valve here has two different uh, PVC sizes, three different views, and within that we have uh, on state, off state. So as you can see, we have quite the list, and we can see how this could only uh, this exacerbates the situation when we have another ball valve, another size, it another six views. And again, here with this um, with this flow tree, we have the three float arrangement, and then with this, the four float arrangement. And of course, the only difference is that fourth float. And um, so we have uh, three different views, and of course, on uh, the fourth float would be either on or off. And uh, so this can kind of really be streamlined that if we had a choice to say uh, three floats, four floats, and then you can choose your uh, your view state after that. That really streamline um, streamline uh, this uh, this block. So with this, this is a, an example of how we can remedy the solution. That this block here has several different views. However, we only have uh, a few different um, visibility state options. And this is, uh, it's, it's really quite clever. This is, of course, just uh, an example block um, that pulled up. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this under the hood. And so here it is. Uh, the first thing that you may notice is uh, kind of the odd looking lightning strikes uh, next to the, uh, the lookup tables and the move commands. Make everything visible so you can see. And um, so with this, uh, it's a B action bar mode here. Set that to zero, and uh, you'll get that up. So I just set it back to one, which is kind of the standard view that you uh, that you may be more comfortable with. Set that back to zero, and so w essentially what this is is that this lookup table number three, um, lookup parameter number three, is calling up. Uh, look up table five, which is referring to uh, tables um, two and three, and then look up table number six, which is referring to five, and then that is finally uh, applying the visibility options. So as you can see here, there are four different states, and uh, so we have 16 different possibilities. And this is something that uh, that you will want to really take a close look at when you uh, when you start because it is going to get out of hand if you have far too many options but you do the work once and um, you never have to do it again one of the beauties of of um, uh, dynamic blocks so as you go through here we have all 16 possibilities uh, just in some shorthand circle square triangle or nothing and uh, so here, let's uh, go through, take a quick look under the hood. Before we get going, uh, one of the things that I uh, picked up a while back uh, as I was working on this, a little embarrassing almost that I didn't know this before, but here it is, this hide for all or show for all states. That will save loads of time. Pretty amazing quick trick. So 
This is just a simple move command, iterated 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, so on. Um, and that just essentially makes this lookup table here a little bit easier to work with. Um, so I'll screen pulling up the parameters and uh, view. Um, view the table, uh, we can see the different move values from uh, the distance one. And then lookup one is going to have uh, the four different visibility states. And that is going to be identical to lookup table uh, look at parameter two, referring to look up table three, uh, with of course the differences being the twos versus the ones, and so very basic. Uh, so now here, we, as we go on, this is kind of a little bit next um, uh, higher in the complex uh, realm. So we have all the ones, all four options, all the twos, all four options, and then of course that's referring to uh, the different visibility states uh, based off of the previously mentioned um, uh, lookup tables. So uh, as you can see, all 16 options. And then as we go here, we have this lookup table number six looking up lookup table number five. And this just refers to the uh, lookup, um, the visibility table. And uh, pretty quick, pretty easy. And of course, uh, well, off screen, uh, reduce that to zero uh, grips. So with that, I guess we can uh, take another quick look at what this is, what's going on. And it's just this uh, simple block has uh, the ability to kind of uh, go on and really show its power with uh, with a lot of these other ones. Like um, like these two blocks up here, for instance, and in a later video we'll go over essentially how to create that block uh, below, and uh, then possibly we'll uh, apply these to future blocks. Thank you so much for watching.